Hi, my name is Rachel and you're watching the Rachelistic channel. So today I am back continuing on my diagnosis journey and yeah, here for an update I guess. So I got an email from Embrace Autism saying that they want me to do another psychometric test, I guess. I don't know if this is like added to the psychometrics for the screenings or if they just wanted me to do an extra test, but I have to do it regardless. So it's called the RMET reading the mind in the eyes test. I kind of looked up what it, what it was, like a description of it before because I was like, what the heck is that? Basically, it's like, I think they show you like pictures of eyes and then you have to say what emotion, I guess, the eyes are showing. Yeah, it doesn't sound like something that's going to be easy for me. So yeah, this will be fun, but I'm going to do it and then catch up with y'all after. So I finished the test and yeah, that took a long time. It took me like basically 20 minutes to do it because I had to time myself. Yeah, it was interesting. It's hard trying to figure out what the person's emotion is by just looking at their eyes. And then also some of the words are like these really like random words. <laughs> It's like, it's not random, but it's like words that people don't typically use to describe what they're feeling, like aghast or despondent. Like nobody says, oh, I'm feeling despondent right now, you know? So sometimes I'm like, what? So, I mean, I know what they mean, but like nobody uses those words. So I'm like, how am I supposed to figure out what somebody looks like? Like somebody who is despondent looks like nobody says that they're feeling despondent, you know? But overall, it wasn't bad. Anyways, I sent it in and now I just, I guess, I'm back to waiting again to hear back to see what they say, I guess. Yeah, so it is, it has been a while since that last clip. So I got my screening results back. I got them back August 25th, but... I haven't, I tried filming like this update part before, but I was in a bad mood, so it wasn't working. And then like I had COVID, so that was like two weeks gone. So anyways, I'm filming this now. So yeah, like I said, I got my screening results back and it basically said that I weren't getting a an autism diagnosis. So basically all of the results from the uh, psychometrics and my answers to all of the questions uh, were pointing towards autism. They're very, they're all consistent with other autistic people. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It feels nice to like have somebody have like, it feels nice to go through this whole process and get the answer that I want, but also like I'm not like overly excited or like anything about it. Like, I'm just like, I'm not surprised because like I already knew that I was autistic. So, I mean, it's not even a, like an autistic diagnosis. It's just saying like, yes, basically everything points to autism, which I already knew. So it's just kind of like confirming what I already know. So yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I already know I'm autistic, but I want to get a diagnosis so that I can like have that confirmed like 100% so that there's no like, well, less doubts in my mind. And then also just to kind of like see if there's anything else 
like besides autism going on in my brain. I am self-diagnosed with ADHD as well as autism, but I don't know. There could very well be other things as well. So that's another reason why I really want to get a diagnosis. So yeah. <laughs> so what are my next steps after this? Obviously going on to the full diagnosis part. That would basically be doing more of like the psychometric tests type things and then also doing an interview so yeah yeah I can do that next part I guess whenever I want but I don't really know when I'm gonna move on to the next part quite yet I just I feel I need to like figure out what I'm doing with my life <laughs> and then I'll move on but um yeah, whenever I do do it, I'm obviously going to like take you guys along and film and show you, you my journey and what I think. So yeah, I, I can't tell you when I'm going to start the next part, but just stay tuned, I guess, if you want. So that's basically it for this video. It's probably super short. Yeah, it's such a long wait for a super short video. I'm sorry, but life happened. So <laughs> Yeah, but that's it for this video. If you liked it, then please hit the like button. Uh, if you have anything you want to say, any questions, then just comment them down below. And finally, if you like watching my videos, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when I post my next video. As always, stay Rachelistic or whatever your name is, Istic. Goodbye. I'll see you in the next video.